coming to you live from Lawrence Joel Veterans Memorial Coliseum. The most daunting atmosphere in all of college basketball, dare I say all of sports. Um, as Wake is about to lay a beat down on the number eight ranked North Carolina Tar Heels. Um, smells like bandwagon fan in here, so <laughs> see how this goes. You can feel the energy in the crowd. There's at least 5,000 Wake fans here. The students are here in mass. What we're looking at is like a defensive struggle. Neither team could shoot, especially Carolina. Might be the worst shooting team I've seen in my entire life. So I'm thinking we're gonna have a final of about 50 to five with Wake winning by 45 points. Um, now the only way this couldn't happen is if for some reason, I don't know, we didn't score that many points. In that case, maybe we're looking at more like a, a 20 to 12 game. Uh, either way, it's hard to foresee any outcome where Wake doesn't win this game, if you ask me. Better under pressure. Yeah, you know, <laughs> we're a second half team. Already dissatisfied. There were some empty seats in the lower level. And that's just one of the perks that comes with being a Wake fan is that you can sit wherever you want. And it's great. loss in Coliseum history. Yes. Anthony Villas. We have 50 points now. So it's not like, it's, yeah, it's not a historically low amount of points scored at least. Well, I said we would witness history and we did. The new worst Wake Forest loss in Coliseum history uh, by a deficit of 38 points. Uh, but at least that means we're closer to getting rid of Danny Manning. So really, there are a lot of positives to be brought out of today. Like, Carolina only made like three free throws the entire game because usually most of their regular shots just went in. But still, a, lot, a whole lot of positive, a lot of optimism. Uh, uh, go, go Deeks. 